So this bring, brings back memories. It really does. So some of these CDs I helped master in Korea. These are Korean CDs. But most of them were owned by my grandfather and my grandmother and my mother. And now it's mine. And I was late to the streaming game. So even though I'm young, I grew up in an age where CDs were very prominent. It was the first way to listen to music. And right up until second year in university, again, because I was late to the streaming game, I would play CDs while my friends would stream and stuff like that. Now in the past few years, I have pushed away CD players and turntables to the side. I still play them occasionally, but they're kind of pushed to the side because streaming made things easier. And because I'm a reviewer, it helped me do things the faster way. But it just made me forget how amazing it is to grab a CD, open it up, and actually look at the beauty inside, take it out, put it on the CD player, and read through the manual with the little pamphlet that, was, that comes with the CDs. Just made me forget about that. But then when Dan reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their 110th CD player and integrated amplifier, I said I would be glad to do so. And now I have them in here. I've been playing it for about a month. And I have to say, it just sounds so good that I can play all these CDs that I've stored for years and collected over the years. And it's just not the same. It's just not the same as streaming. And does it sound better? Well, we'll get to that in a second. But this is a, this is a, enjoyable experience that brings me back nostalgia. And besides that, this is the 110th anniversary. You know how, that, how long that is? For a company to be existent and making audio stuff for that long? 110 years. That's just amazing. So let's start with the CD player. So the CD player is called DCD A110. And so this is their 110th anniversary CD player. And this, this is such a great CD player. It features the advanced SVH mechanism, which is Denon's original disk drive design. SVS stands for Suppress Vibration Hybrid, if I'm not wrong. And this is their original disk drive mechanism to reduce vibration and any mechanical noise because CD players are mechanical devices. And according to Denon, this allows the CD player to be accurate when it's reading the CDs. But not only that, that's, that's a foundation into what, a, from what makes a good CD player. But not only that, one of their main goals with this 110th anniversary version was to shorten the signal path as much as possible from input to output. And because this is a CD player, it has a DAC inside, it's a quad DAC design, and they call this the AL32 processing. Now, both of these units are beautifully finished, as you can see. And I just wanna emphasize that even the camera cannot capture the beauty of this, these units. They're just absolutely gorgeous in terms of its finish. 
the aluminum, and you can tell it's just high quality. In fact, my friend Tujin, who's the other reviewer on this channel, went ahead and bought a, another denim because this was out of his price range after looking at the denim finish on this. Just gorgeous. He, well, he fell in love with the look. Now moving on to the PMA A110 integrated amplifier. Again, it has the DAC, that's the AL32 processing quad DAC design. And also this is 160 watt per channel into four ohm design, a high current design with the same goal of the shortest signal path from input to the output of your speaker terminals. Everything they put into this was high quality. And in fact, I found an interview with one of the Denon engineers in Japan uh, on Denon's YouTube channel. So I'll link to that in the description for you guys to check out. Very interesting in what they did with this. They basically brought a lot of technology from their higher end models and brought it down to this model with improvements. And again, all these pieces are made in Japan. So the price is not cheap. But at the same time, I didn't find it ridiculous either. The CD player is 3,000 US and the integrated amplifier is $3,500 US. And considering the craftsmanship that goes into this and the sound quality that you get out of this at the end of the day, which we will talk about in a minute, the sound quality, and what I really think of it. But I just don't think the price is that ridiculous because recently I reviewed the Yamaha integrated amplifier, the AS3200, which retails for, I believe, $7,500, something like that. And yes, that Yamaha was just ridiculous in terms of its craftsmanship and all, but the price of the Yamaha based on its sound was really hard for me to justify because the 110th anniversary version, the PMA A110 integrated amplifier had very, very similar characteristics and just went head to head with the $7,500 Yamaha integrated amplifier. So I just don't think the price is that unreasonable for this one. Now the Denon PMA A110 does have MM and MC phono cartridges for those that want to connect their turntables. It does have both moving magnet, again, and moving coil cartridges, which is really nice. And also, it has tone control for anyone that wants tone control. All of these are including the volume control electronically controlled. And if you look at the actual interview with the Japanese engineer, he explains that this actually helps them shorten the signal path and it was done with a purpose, it was not a shortcut. And even the remote control is so nicely finished, it's no joke. It just feels so nice to have it in your hands. And you can control everything with just one remote. The amplifier, the CD, everything is just with one remote, which is extremely, extremely nice, especially when you're a reviewer and you have 15 remotes just lying around. Now, of course, because both the CD player and the integrated amplifier both have DACs inside, you can choose to use the one inside the CD player or you can use the one inside the integrated amplifier. I tried both. I didn't feel like there was much change. Both sounded excellent to me. But I really feel like for this integrated amplifier and also the CD player, the DAC inside plays a pretty major role in how these sound. Because when I had the streamer hooked up directly to the integrated amplifier, I did not get the same sound uh, as I did with the CD player, that didn't give me the exact sound that the Denon did. Now, when I used the Denon stack and the whole package, the sound that they were going for, I think really, they nailed it. The sound I got was a very spacious sound, very large sound stage, very good pinpoint imaging, and in one word, I would say a live performance type of sound. It was lively, it was not rolled back or rolled off. It's not a boring or warm sound. It's not a luscious, tubey sounding sound. If that's what you're looking for, this is not it. This is detailed, spacious sounding, and the sound stage is large in width and depth. And I usually don't use the word holographic for a solid state amplifier, but this was holographic. And because everything seemed so spacious, it was as if 
I was listening to a live performance and I don't like using the word accurate because that portrays to some people that it's analytical. But this is not a clinical or analytical sound. This sounded accurate in tone. Guitars, saxophones, violin. And recently I bought a violin for my girlfriend. And yes, I, I've been listening to it. And it, listening to violin just the tone just makes me smile. Now there is a slight edge to the sound in instruments and vocals. Now I wouldn't say as far as to edge or sharpness, but it's more of a articulation. It's very articulate. Now this is a problem if you are prone to brightness, but even my friend Tujin, who is known to be prone to brightness, he listened to the Denon and he just found it just very musical. Yes, he noticed the edge and a little bit of that articulation, but he didn't mind it because he told me that that actually sounded natural to him. It was not a sharp or, or brittle or unrefined sound. This is what I've been saying for a long, long time. If high frequencies, although they're bright, if they're refined enough, then they don't bother your ears. They're not edgy or sharp or, or bothersome because it just sounds natural using everything that came with the Denon, if you so will, the DAC, the CD player, and everything. It gives you a much more holographic 3D presentation, even though it's a solid state amplifier. It sounds like a solid state amplifier, except for that large sound stage that even defies some of the best tube amplifiers in the world that I have heard. So that to me is very impressive and I think they really nailed it with this 110th anniversary integrated amplifier and the CD combination. And I say they nailed it because yes, you can add a separate DAC to it like the Denafrips or something higher end, but usually I would say, yeah, that improves the sound significantly, but adding a separate DAC to this integrated amplifier really added something or took away something that the Denon had, but it didn't improve it like the way I think it would have. So I think they really nailed the tuning of the, the entire thing. And if you get this and if you add anything to it, it may not be always for the better because at least I've tried five or six different DAX and stuff to, to see if I can improve it. But in this case, I just like the sound that I get as a package. And if you like that, then this is it. This is what you get. And this is what you should stick with. No further improvements needed. Now, for example, like the Hegel H190 integrated amplifier. I love the amplifier section, but I always say the streamer and the DAC section can be improved with separates later down the road if you ever wish to. In this case, it changes the sound quite drastically to where it's not really about improving, it's more about actually changing the entire sound. So I am not sure if that's something that you want unless you don't like the sound that you're getting from the Denon. Now, in terms of the integrated amplifier, in comparison with something like even the Kinky Studio monoblocks that I reviewed, which is around a similar price point. Now that's a monoblock. This sounds to me more live. Now this is a bad analogy, but think of the lively characteristic of the Klipsch RP600M speakers. But take out all the brightness, take out all the unrefinement. Think of a higher end version, more refined it's on steroid version of the Klipsch RP600M. And that's the type of sound you get from this Denon integrated amplifier, that liveliness. So it's excellent for rock and really any music that you want to tap your foot to. It's not a boring or smooth tubey sound. This is a solid state sound and it's proud to be a solid state sound because really good solid states like this one here can really punch when you need it. And in difficult passages, it can control that bass no problem. 
And this Danon does that just perfectly. Perfect amount of control, perfect amount of punch. So it has really good bass, really good treble. So it has a little bit, if you can imagine, a little bit of that V-shaped sound, a little bit of that bass emphasis and grunt with a little bit of emphasis in the high frequency, energy, excitement. But most importantly, that mid-range, it sounds natural, the tone is natural, it's beautiful. Everything in the mid-range is just so good. And you know what I say, if mid-range doesn't sound right, nothing sounds right. And with this Denon, it sounds right. And you know I hate it when manufacturers have this sound where it's V-shaped, but then the mid-range is not really refined or, or it sounds sucked off. Well, it's not like that. The mid-range is the first thing that needs to be done right. And Denon, being Denon and have been in this business forever, has gotten that nailed down and then they added that energy on the top end in the bass. And you can really tell that this is a refined sound, a high-end sound. So most definitely, yes, there may be more budget stuff that can perhaps compete with this kind of sound of the Denon, but you're not only paying for the sound, you're paying for the 110th anniversary version, and also you're also paying for the craftsmanship, the magnificent craftsmanship that you get in this piece with five-year warranty. That's what you're paying for when you get this. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful to you, make sure to subscribe and consider supporting us on our Patreon to keep us independent and keep these honest reviews and videos coming. And I'll see you guys on the next one.